my book, The Druid Code, I speculated that the concept of Atlantis was actually a memory of ancient communities that lived in areas now submerged beneath the Atlantic, ranging from southern Scandinavia and all the way around into southern Europe via Iberia. Their presence beneath the waves not only forms the mythology regarding Plato's mention of Atlantis, but also folkloric and other mythological tales pertaining to communities and ancestors who were lost beyond the sea. Most famous of these being the Doggerland region between Yorkshire in the north of England and Denmark and Holland, currently residing at bottom of the North Sea. Around the coast of Ireland, there are certain megalithic sites that are now submerged or almost submerged underneath the rising sea levels. This suggests that at the time they were built, these structures were once inland and away from the coast. One such example is Rostellan Portal Dolmen in County Cork. Portal dolmens are megalithic monuments which take their name from the two large upright stones which comprise the entrance or portal to the central chamber of the structure. The monuments are generally of a basic rectangular plan having chambers formed from upright orthostats. The chamber is then covered by a capstone which can be colossal in some cases. It is now generally accepted that these dolmens are the remainders of what was once a large mound and the surrounding soil and washed or eroded away, leaving only the central portal area. Generally they date to the Neolithic period, from about 5,000 years ago. This example here, which is almost completely submerged by the tidal water, is the Rostellan portal dolmen. And it's the only example of one in Ireland which can be clearly seen to be tidal in nature, being surrounded constantly by seaweed. It is also unusual that the portal itself opens up to the east, rather than facing the setting sun, as is normal in most Irish dolmens. It's very difficult to access, and it's also strangely absent from many modern Irish guidebooks. Currently it sits in the sea, 10 metres or 33 feet below high tide mark. When it was built in the early Neolithic period, between 5,000 and 6,000 years ago, the oceans were substantially lower, and may have been sighted originally far inland from the sea. The dolmen is very difficult to access, as behind it is a large wooded area which is not easy to navigate, and the best place to view it is from across the other side of the bay. As it now stands, only two upright order stats now support the six-foot capstone. The stones themselves are about two meters or 6.5 feet tall and a meter and a half or five feet wide. Interesting that they are set into carved out slots in the limestone pavement below them. The backstone has fallen away and no longer provides any structural support for the capstone. 